Now I have the pleasure uh, today to uh, welcome all of you to today's meeting on aid and the social sectors. Well, I am particularly pleased to see all these guests here. I know many of you have traveled long distances and uh, that you're here now, all of you, to contribute to today's program. So we have people in the room. We have uh, lots of people all over the world on the web. We have donors, researchers, students, representatives of civil society organizations and governmental agencies and ministries, and all of you are here to listen and discuss what makes aid work in social sector policy and how aid may contribute to better social services. You are all very welcome. And now at SIDA, we are happy to co-host this meeting with the World Institute for Development Economics Research of the United Nations University, UNU WIDER. And SIDA has supported UNU WIDER for a number of years, and we recently intensified our collaboration with UNU WIDER through this RECOM program. And further, I'm also very pleased to welcome Denmark's Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Danida, and also the Danish Institute for International Studies. And as many of you know already, Denmark initiated the RECOM program, and SIDA and Danida are, not, are now jointly funding this program. So today we will discuss what RECOM has to say about how aid works, or does not work, in the social sector. So on the basis on research, we will discuss the role of aid for improved education, for improved health services, and access to drinking water. We will also learn about, we will learn more about how the recent expansion of social protection in the South and investigate social protection as an instrument to reduce poverty. So today's results meeting is the fourth in a series of seven results meeting of the RECOM program. So previous meetings have discussed aid and jobs, and that was in Copenhagen last year in October, democracy and fragility here in Stockholm in May last year, and development assistant, assistance and growth here in Stockholm in March, just one year ago. And we, we believe that to be of use, this, all this knowledge generated by research must be shared. So by hosting this results meeting, SIDA now wants to share and discuss the results of the research that have res emerged in the RECOM studies with all of you, with all development actors. And for SIDA and Sweden, this results meeting comes very timely. We are presently intensely engaged in the process of formulating direc directions for future development cooperation. Our minister, Gunilla Carlson, is representing, uh, she's represented in the UN high-level panel for a post-2015 development agenda. So Sweden is very engaged now in this through our minister. So di dialogue with researchers, as well as with civil society and the private sector, is now also an important part to the post-development, post-2015 development agenda. So um, we have a, a very interesting and intense program ahead of us. So I will now hand over this floor uh, and the microphone to our moderator, Sharon Joma. Please come up. Sharon has a long experience from Swedish television as a science journalist, presenter and producer. She will lead us through today's meeting. So with this word, I once again thank you, all of you, for coming. All of you that are out there on, on the web and all participants for joining us today. And we all look very much look forward to exciting, interesting and illuminating discussions. Welcome. Thank you. 